Scott, I'm with Hammer in Hand, project supervisor on the Karuna House project. And I'm going to describe all the components in our fast flash system. There's four of them, starting in, uh, in sequence in order that, that they are put on. Uh, we start with the joint seam filler. Uh, it's gunned on. Uh, our favorite tool is just a regular old Bondo scraper. It's flexible. And this project is gunned on, and we'll show some of that footage, and uh, troweled out. Uh, the next component is the fast flash. Uh, this is four window openings. Uh, it's the second layer base on our, our window flashing system. Uh, third product is a Cat5. Uh, this is a product that's rolled out. This is what we use. Basically, uh, you can use the bucket it comes in with a roller screen, and then we use a, uh, a roller. This is a 3 8 nap. And uh, it's rolled out all on the, the entire, all the exterior walls get the Cat5. Uh, one little trick that we found that we really like is uh, uh, you need a pretty heavy duty roller frame to roll this stuff out. And uh, with the amount of product that's in it, the roller can wander off the roller frame. So we take a, uh, like a bugle head screw and put it in right there and basically attach the roller to the roller frame. And that kind of counteracts all that. Uh, it goes on really fast. Uh, the last product, which we'll show later after we install the windows, is an air dam product that goes on the back of the window. A number of really critical things on this product that we really like is one, there's, uh, it gets away from the whole peel and stick and uh, 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 other membranes that we would use on a wall system. This thing's all universal and the sequencing is not extremely critical. They can, one can build on top of the other. So if you need to go back and patch in, you'd use some of the fast flash. A key advantage this has over a peel and stick is it is vapor permeable and that is a really critical component. Key, uh, uh, peel and stick, not vapor permeable. Uh, this can be applied on, if there is some moisture in the wall assembly, it will find its way out. Uh, another really great uh, uh, key item on this product is you can, if it's wet out, it's not an issue. This product was developed in Oregon and Washington, and if it can be, it's uh, moisture cured. So if your wall assembly is slightly wet, it's not an issue. Uh, those, those are the four components, and we're going to go around and look at how they're applied on the, uh, the wall assembly. All right, so we're going to describe the parts of our wall assembly at the stem wall. So we've got our stem wall with our elastomeric waterproofing on it. Uh, on top of that, we have, uh, we, we trout our top of the stem wall really flat and smooth. Uh, we've got a three by sill plate and underneath that we've got, we actually do use two layers of gasketing, EPDM gasketing that is underneath the plate. When we uh, set our plywood, we actually bedded the plywood in joint and seam filler. Now another thing you can notice here, we held the plywood flush with the face of the stem wall. That just makes everything much more seamless when it comes time to put our, uh, our polyiso foam on it. The foam's basically gonna come all the way down and then just flushes right on top of the stem wall. Then we switch to EPS foam after that once we get below grade. Uh, we'll have a couple shots coming up of just how we treated this on the face. After we bedded the plywood in the joint and seam filler, we come back on the face and do a swath of joint and seam filler, and then we run the Cat5 actually all the way down, and then we, we run the Cat5 down about four inches below the top of the stem wall, and it's completely air sealed. So we have a lot going on in this, in this one corner right here. We've got this big long cantilever, we've got a pipe penetration, we've got scaffolding connected to our plywood, and we've got a window opening. Um, you can no notice just how uh, the simplicity and the thoroughness of the fast flash system. Everything's detailed out. You can see how, you know, if you were using a peel and stick, you would have a lot of joints right here. Uh, in, in this house, in Passive House, the, the, the plywood, we would make that our air barrier. So we're completely air sealed we're, and we're water sealed. You notice on, up underneath this um, soffit here, uh, this is actually our three by sill plate. Uh, plywood here obviously and then down to our our stem wall is completely seamless and complete and totally air sealed uh, that pipe penetration we haven't detailed out yet but pipe penetration we just cut the hole really tight and then we can come back with joint and seam filler and cut in the whole way around the pipe making that penetration completely air sealed um, another thing we really like about fast flash is uh, just odd attachments like this where we have a scaffold frame attached to the plywood um, 
with most other flashings, you would have to leave an opening here that you would have to come back and detail in, and it would be uh, several different pieces of material tied in with each other. Uh, here, when we pull this out, we just roll on more uh, Cat5, and it just blends in completely seamlessly. Uh, we have that in many different spots on this project. Okay, we're going to show uh, how easy it is to detail a pipe penetration with the fast flash system. And we're going to detail this, uh, this uh, plumbing vent with our uh, joint and seam filler. And really, it's just as simple as what we do. First, what we start with is we, we cut the hole as tight as possible while still allowing it to be buildable. So go a eighth or three sixteenths over the hole diameter, the pipe diameter. And then we just work our way right in. And this, this stuff works in mass, so you want to have a, a decent bead on it. Because what's going to end up happening is over time that pipe is going to expand and contract and the building's going to move a little bit. And if this thing, if, if this product has mass to it, it can move with the building. So that's it. And I'm going to leave that the way it is right there. That's that's you can tool it out. It can become a little messy if you really start tooling it a lot. So you try and get it on there fairly good right in the beginning. So uh, once you've applied your joint and seam filler, we come back and we'll take our uh, Cat5 and we'll fill in the spaces that were missed right here and we'll roll it right out onto the pipe, come out maybe uh, inch and a half, two inches, something like that. Now, another once again, the beauty of these products is you could use the fast flash, the same product we use in the window openings. That tools really well, which is kind of nice. Um, the Cat5 we would normally spread on with a roller. The, uh, the fast flash you can do with like a Bondo scraper. So we could just trowel it the whole way around the opening and then just, you could probably just paint it right onto this pipe open, uh, uh, the pipe penetration. Okay, so in our next couple of video segments, uh, now that we're done with our air barrier, uh, we're gonna do window installation, then we're gonna do a preliminary blower door test and we're gonna move on to our polyiso. We've got six inches of polyiso that's gonna be applied to all the exterior walls. Uh, in between the polyiso, we're doing a, uh, a siding strut detail. That'll bring us out to our rain screen. That's what we'll hang all the cladding off of. And uh, those are the things to look forward to. That's pretty much it for our air barrier.